Welcome, I'm Ariel Pozwolski, pre-sales engineer of Algo. Today we'll be talking about setting up ring extensions on our range of IP speakers as well as IP visual alerters. Ring extensions are useful for uh, a night ringer setup where you have, let's say, a phone in a noisy environment and it's just not loud enough. The staff on the floor, perhaps a manufacturing plant, cannot hear the phone ringing. This feature is fantastic and it will help everyone uh, be able to answer their calls. Um, it's doable in two ways and they can either be done separately or complement each other. We can do loud ringing such as through our 8180 IP audio alerter or a different speaker and we can also do visual ringing. If required we can do both of course and just deploy two of these devices and these are obviously examples that we are using today. For the setup, I'm going to be showing an 8180 IP audio alerter. Bear in mind, the setup would be exactly the same if it was a different IP speaker or a different IP visual alerter. For this, today we have an 8138. If it was an 8128 model, it would look up, it would look exactly the same. So let's go to the computer here. Um, you should be able to see my screen now. We are logged in, we are in the status page. So very simple, we'll start by navigating to the basic settings tab. And obviously for this, bear in mind, you do need to register your endpoint to your phone system. So in my case, I already have my SIP credentials sorted out. If you don't, make sure to get that in advance. Once you have your SIP credentials, the process itself is very simple. We'll start by going again, basic settings SIP. Once we're here, uh, obviously, we need to fill out the SIP domain, that may be an IP address or a domain name. It will depend on your specific phone system. In my case, it's going to be 10.0.0.100. Again, this is just an example. And what's more important now, under ring slash alert mode, you want to make sure that this is set to the very first option here, the first bullet point, monitor ring event and registered SIP extension. When this is enabled, the four, uh, these four rows that I have highlighted right now will show in the screen and that's where you're going to be plugging your credentials. It's important to make sure the credentials are plugged in here and not the four boxes underneath it because that's for uh, paging extension, right? So again, ring slash alert extension is where we want our credentials to go. So obviously the credentials again will depend on the phone system. I'll just do these for the sake of the example. You may or may not have a different authentication ID. You may or may not have a password. Again, it will depend on your environment. Generally, you will have all three, extension, authentication ID, and password. So I'll enter 100 for the extension. Authentication ID will also be 100 in my case, and I'll enter my password. Once I'm done, I'm going to make sure to hit save in the bottom right. My settings are saved now. And if your credentials are correct, if you require no other SIP settings such as different uh, transportation protocol, if it's all set to default and generally it's going to be, you are all done right now. Uh, as far as the setup on the device, that's it. It's very, very simple. Obviously, the other important aspect would be the phone system setup. It would be you would be required to set up a ring group, add uh, this recently reg registered extension to the ring group as well as the target phone. So when that group is called, the phone will ring as it normally does. Uh, our IP speaker will ring or if it was a visual alert, it would flash according to your settings. Uh, and more importantly, neither one of them will answer the call. The call is going to be answered by a human being by picking up the handset these will just ring or flash or both if you need uh, to deploy one of each. Once the extension is registered, it's important to verify it's registered properly, of course, by going to the status tab. Um, right now, of course, in my case, this is just an example. Uh, it's an isolated network, so it will show no reply from server that's expected. But make sure to verify the extension has registered properly and the wording you're looking for is successful. Uh, very next step, of course, would be to set up your ring volume, uh, any other little ring settings, as well as the ringtone specifically you want for, for this device. And again, I'm working on the 8180 AP speaker. If you was a visual alerter, you pick your strobe pattern instead of the, ring, uh, of the ringtone. 
So again, going to, over to basic settings, now I'm gonna go to this feature sub tab. Once I get here, I have three settings at the very top of the page under the heading inbound, inbound ring settings. I'm going to select my ring slash alert tone. The device comes preloaded with uh, a handful of tones. They can certainly be used. Custom tones can also be uploaded easily. But for now, we'll just pick a chimed out wave file. I'm going to select my volume. I want this to be on volume seven. And I do not want a ring limit, but I could certainly add it if required. And as always, bottom right, we'll save our settings. That summarizes setting up ring extensions on Algo IP speakers and IP visual learners. For any questions, please contact a member of our support team. Thank you.